Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda, and today I'm going to be showing you my NYX Lippy Countdown Day 18 look. Today's color is this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the color Stone Fox. As you can see, I have it on here. It is a dark gray color. I'm really a fan of it. For today's look, I'm going to be using my Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's kind of a purpley grayish look. I thought it went really well with this lip color. If you're not subscribed to me already, I am doing a series on my channel right now until December 24th. I am going along with the NYX Lippy Countdown Calendar, and I am doing a new makeup look every day that goes along with the lip color. So be sure to subscribe down below if you're not already and turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I post a video. I'm also doing Vlogmas on my vlog channel. I will have that linked up here for you guys in case you're not following already. I'm trying to find a family name for our little family here, so definitely comment some ideas you have down below. I'm trying to figure that out. We're at 37,000 subscribers right now, so we definitely are long overdue for a family name. So give me your ideas down below. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. So today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. So I already went in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I put that all over my lid for a base and then I went in with Tempura and lightly put that all over my lid. So I'm going to start by taking a small-ish fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with the color Blonde Fresco and Warm Taupe. I'm going to mix these together and put that in my crease. I'm carrying this up onto my brow bone as you can see. And still my eyebrows have yet to be done so nothing is blending well so I apologize. Next I am going to go in with a even smaller brush and I'm just going to go in with the Bon Fresco and I'm going to put this in my crease. Now it's time for the cut crease part. So I'm gonna be going in with a tiny little brush like this. Um, I'm just gonna be making the line in my crease with this. I found that it's a lot easier this way. I started with a different brush and I found this one a lot easier. So I'm just gonna be starting, like I said, with this one and going in with a bigger one to blend all of the Tarte Shape Tape out. Not putting too much on my brush because then it gets real messy and you can't blend it out well. Starting with a little bit. And if you guys watched my video where Sam did my makeup and she did a cut crease, she says that everyone's crease is like in a different spot, which is completely true. I think I was trying to follow videos of where everyone else did theirs, but mine is in a much higher pot. A much higher pot. <laughs> A much higher spot so that's why I was never successful at it so with that knowledge hopefully this turns out a little bit better than my past attempts Alright, so now I'm just going to be taking a little bit more and throwing it onto my lid here. And I am going to be taking a different brush to blend it. Alrighty, it's not perfect, but it's pretty even with the other one. So now I'm gonna go back in with that same color, the Bond Fresco, and just try to darken up where I put this without getting it on the 
part where I just put the concealer. So now that that is done, I'm going to go in with this fluffy-ish brush, but it's a little bit flat, and I'm going to go in with Tempura again, and I am just going to set this concealer with this color, putting it all over my lid, and I'm fanning it out a little bit too where I winged out the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be taking this same brush again that I used to go into my crease because I want it to be a little one to kind of blend out. Um, if you have a different brush that would work for this, that's probably a lot better because I have the chance of like smudging more purple up here. But I'm just going to be taking a little bit of the golden ochre and I am just going to blend out the color up here because I don't really want the purple to be touching my eyebrow. Alrighty, so now that this part is done, I'm going to go in with the dreaded liquid eyeliner. I really tried on this side. It's slightly a disaster, but you know what? We're just gonna try hard. I would not follow my technique on this, but if you're interested in seeing me fail, then keep watching. Oh. <laughs> okay, actually, it's kind of even with the other one. Can I fix this? If there's a will, there's a way. Oh, oh, there's just not a way. I just ruined everything. <laughs> Ruining everything. <gasps> Don't panic while you're doing your makeup. It senses fear. Okay, would 10 out of 10 recommend doing your face makeup after a cut crease? just throwing that out there. I have finally done the final wing. It looks horrible, but I'm not touching it any longer because I literally think that the corner of my eye is starting to bleed. So, throwing some mascara on, and I have new lashes that I'm using today. These are only because I don't have my favorite ones at any Walmart in the history of the universe. These are the Salon Perfect 615 lashes. My favorites are the 614s. You guys have been asking, those are the ones that I've been wearing in the past few videos, but they are like so used and disgusting. I had to get some other ones. So they look a lot better when they're new. So I'm gonna throw those on and I will be right back. All right guys, so this is the final look for today. It is not perfect. I am a work in progress. I am trying. I'm hoping this entire series is going to help me like better myself at makeup because like I've told you guys many times, I am not a makeup artist. I literally don't know what I'm doing at all. Like it's all a learning process. So you guys want to see makeup looks, I'm going to give you makeup looks and hopefully it'll help me out too. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and a big thumbs up for videos every day. If you didn't see the three videos I posted yesterday, be sure to go and check those out. Catching up for all of my being behind. If you don't follow me on my social media already, my Instagram is AmandaLouiseYT. That'll be down below and at the end of the video. And if you're not friends with me on Snapchat already, you can add me. I will put the snap code on the screen right here so it's easier for you. But it is also AmandaLouiseYT. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell. Or you can click this button right here. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye. Bye. Christmas